Jawohl. What's up, people of YouTube? So, here's the deal. Today, yesterday, this very day, we're gonna take, as in we, meaning I am gonna take the Enneagram test. Why, you might ask? What, you might ask? Well, here's the deal. It's kind of like one of those personality assessment things like Myers-Briggs or Strengths Finders or something like that. There's a whole lot of thoughts on those things. Some people think, oh, hey, that puts me in a box. I don't like that. Other people are like, hey, that helps me better understand myself and others so that I can better engage with them. That's kind of the, the field that I'm in, but here's the, here's the other thing. I've already done Myers-Briggs and Strengths Finders and I've done, I think they're great and I'll probably do them again in the future, but I was going through Probably the last year, everything with Enneagram just like blew up. And the thing is, every friend group that I was hanging out with was asking me, hey, what's your number? What's your Enneagram number? Not like, t -t 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 -t, but what's your Enneagram number? My Enneagram number is six, five, four, whatever number. Um, and then the whole group would start talking about the Enneagram and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then people would start eventually turn the conversation towards me and be like, let me guess your Enneagram number. Um, totally fine, we're all just having fun, but it was literally happening almost every group conversation I was in for the last year, and so I was like, I should probably fig figure this out, and it might be helpful along the way. There, there was actually an Enneagram book that I read, put it right up here, it was actually really good, and um, gave me a better understanding without taking a test. And the nice thing about the book was that I could read it, I could get an understanding of what I think I might be without taking a test that's just telling me what I am. Because um, you know, these personality assessment tests, sometimes they're all over the place. But today, this very day, we're gonna take a free one, everybody loves free, from truity.com, it's not sponsored or anything like that. Obviously, we're just starting out here, so creating some content, some stuffs, so, um, I'm gonna take this test. We'll see what it says. Um, I know a lot of people whew, with, the, whew, with these personality assessment tests, I always try to approach it from the perspective of it's not putting me in a box that other people can judge me in, although they might because that's honestly what a lot of people do. Um, it's giving me the tools I need to better understand who I am and see myself more clearly and also see who other people are more clearly so I can communicate with them better. Also on the personal side so I can maximize my strengths in work scenarios and just building friendships and everything else. I can, it's always good to understand your strengths so you can maximize them and understand how you work um, and give myself better insights to who I am as well as see my weaknesses really for what they are and work on those, you know? Because we all got those weaknesses. So. That's the idea, that's the thing that's happening right now. We're gonna take this test, see what it comes out with, and what does that even mean? So, let's get to it. Yeah. like all of 10-15 minutes, not very long. I expect since it's a free report that there's some sort of sales hitch in there, a marketing hitch where they're gonna be like, hey, you wanna unlock the rest of your info? Don't you wanna know? Because it's so personal to you. It's an easy spot to, to gain an extra sale, which is what they have there. Um, but pretty basic, they give you a quick rundown of all of the nine types your percentage match based off of the test that you just took. Granted, each time you take it, it might be a little bit different. Um, definitely taking a few of these different types of tests, not the Enneagram, but other personality assessment tests, and each time I take them, they might be slightly different. Because I mean, that's the whole thing, depending on how you answer, you're not gonna answer exactly the same every time, but I kind of predicted what I would have, but I was also honestly a little bit surprised with what I got. I knew I was gonna be somewhere in that like quarter, because they're all relatively, they kind of slowly change like the color wheel. If you use a Mac like me, it's kind of older, you might see the color wheel all the time. But what I'm saying is, um, two and one were my highest, two first, then one. I thought maybe I would be a nine after reading the book, but um, nine scored pretty high for me as well, but for me it goes two, one, three, four, then nine. So it's totally on this side of the pie chart. Um, hold on. 
Hey mom. Yeah, what's going on? Thanks mom. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Moms are literally the best. So I'm just gonna take a second real quick and just read through what exactly. Oh man. I'm just gonna take a second real quick and read through what exactly this means for me. So. Okay, so honestly, this particular test on truity.com gives you just enough information to understand what you are and what each what each number is and what it represents for you. Because they're trying to sell you something naturally, they're just gonna give you like a hint of what your strengths are, and then as you wanna read more, it like disappears just so that you'll pay for it, which honestly is a pretty good sales technique because who isn't interested? and who they are and what they do and what they're like and all of that. I'm most aligned with two, which is, which is described as the giver, and one, which is the perfectionist. Um, I would say with all these different personality traits, there's some that naturally people read and they hear and they think, oh, that's a good thing, oh, that's a bad thing. Um, each person's gonna respond to their personality traits or the personality traits that they read differently and also depending on what kind of personality they are, they're gonna respond differently, you know? But there's strengths and weaknesses to each one of these personality traits. There's good and bad qualities. Um, some great qualities with the giver and perfectionist. And then my third one was known as the achiever. That combo of perfectionist, giver, and achiever is an interesting combo for me to look at. And I see a lot of great things. I see a lot of dangerous things. Is it accurate? I definitely relate to these things. I can look through my life and say, hey, some of the things I've been struggling against internally, some of the things I've been excited about in my life do relate to these things. I genuinely get joy when I'm helping other people. That's like the giver in me. I generally am always trying to make things perfect. I have leaned hard into <clears throat> letting um, certain areas of my life not be entirely perfect with, like for instance, with YouTube. Um, with this, I'm trying to be casual with how I approach this. Um, just because I want to be, I want it to feel like anybody, like just very engaging. Um, I do shoot videos professionally um, and those I super dial in on that perfectionist side and the achiever side, but with this, I'm really just trying to be somebody who can be a friend to you. Someone who can walk through my life and share my life with you because I think it's so important that we have friends and community, and especially in this time with COVID, the biggest thought in my mind was like, man, I'm doing all right with my community, but I know there's a lot of people out there. I know there's a lot of people out there that really need great community. Um, and so whether I'm doing funny videos that are really about nothing or walking through something and uh, talking about something that's really just not a super serious video, or I am doing a serious video or whatever, the idea is that there's all these different story arcs and waves in life and that we can all connect um, and my thing is more just being a friend to you so thanks for being there i love you i care about you i appreciate you um as far as the enneagram thing i would try it out if i was you i would check it out at least try it if you've never done it this just barely skims the surface it'll give you just a tiny tiny idea tiny idea of who you are and why um, you can always pay let me see how much it costs to unlock it. Um, it's only, it's $20, which depending on where you are and where you're from in your life, that could be a lot of money. That's like four cups of coffee in general um, to unlock everything. It might be worth it. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd give this test this particular test, I would give like an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I think what would give it a solid 10 out of 10 is if they give you all the stuff for free, but naturally it probably wouldn't be as good if it was all for free. So the test itself, uh, maybe 8.7, pretty good. Um, I like that it's not super long, seemed pretty accurate to myself, and they give you just enough information to understand what you want to understand. If you want to take it further, you still can. Um, 8.5, 8.7, 8.5.
All right, if you guys would, if, <clears throat> 8.5, 8.7. Um, if you like this video and you wanna jump in on the community that's here, if you would consider gently clicking the subscribe, the like, and the notifications bell, it would be greatly appreciated and we can build this community together. All right, love you.